Starting at the home button, this is what it looks like. So this is my Landroid. I have the 2019 version and I have the ACS installed. You can tell because it's orange. Uh, the rest of it's grayed out. I don't have anything else. Go down below. You can see the status. It's at home. And then below that, if you wanted to just start, no schedule or anything, you can hit the play button or the start button and it'll start, uh, it'll start mowing. And then if you want to bring it home, you hit the home button and no matter where it's at, it'll start coming home. It'll hit the boundary wire and follow it home. And if you just want it to stop where it's at, let's say it's going to hit a ball or something, you hit the pause button, it'll stop right where it's at. And then the little, the little up arrow in the lower right, if you click on that, if you wanted to do an edge routine where it just strictly goes along the perimeter wire and cuts the edge, you can hit start. If you want to do party mode, that's where if you're having a barbecue and you, and you do not want it to mow, you enable party mode and no matter what, it will not mow while party mode is enabled so that nobody has to worry about getting run over. And then a one-time schedule, if you want it to go out for a couple hours just because, or you want it to go work eight hours today, you can set it up that way. How's that different than the play button? If you just hit start, it'll go out and it'll mow until the battery runs out. It'll come home and charge. If you hit the one-time schedule, it's going to go out. It'll mow. The battery will run, out, will run out. It'll come back home and then it'll go right back out and keep mowing. And that's the home page. You go to my Landroid. This shows if you have more than one Landroid. Landroid Rover, that's mine. If you want to add another one, you open that up, scan the QR code, and it'll be shown here. My lawn. So this is the meat and potatoes of the app. Um, this right here, right now, it's grayed out because I don't have the auto schedule on. Once you hit auto schedule, the you have access to all the different settings. So right now, my lawn size is 0.17 uh, acres and the perimeter is 410. How do you get that? You can use the app. So the lawn size calculator. It'll show you, if you learn more, it'll tell you how to do it. Right. So basically what you're going to do is you're just going to start the app, walk around the perimeter, and that's it. Once you have the perimeter set, then you're going to do... Uh, exclusion areas and you do the same thing right there. You're going to go to the start of the exclusion area. You're going to start the app and then you're going to walk the perimeter and then it'll calculate what the, uh, what the size is minus the exclusion area. Why is that important? Because that's how it calculates how often to run your Android. So, or if you just want to set it manually, you know, you can go in here and you can adjust the size, whatever size you want. Mine was 0.17. So I'll just leave it at that. And then you save it and then you go back. All right. So once you turn on the auto scheduler, you can set grass species. Why is that important? Because different grass species grow at different speeds. And so I have a plethora of grass in my backyard. I got the contractor grade when they built it. I got crabgrass. I got some Bermuda I put down. I got a little bit of fescue. So I just put mixed species. But if you don't know, you go in the app and it's going to show you, um, you know, different blade types. And then you can select that way. But I did mixed species. And then soil type. Once again, if you don't know, you hit the I don't know button. And it's going to tell you how to figure out what speech, uh, what kind of soil you got. And so I know mine is mine is a uh, clay because water doesn't basically water doesn't absorb into my my ground so I know it's clay. But if you want to set it as silt, you know then you just hit the confirm button. But I'll keep mine at clay. And then irrigation. Do you water? Do you have an irrigation system? Why is that important? Because if you water the grass, it's going to grow more. If you don't water the grass, the land joy is basically going to go off of the weather schedule for your area. So if it rains a lot, it's going to mow more. If it doesn't rain as much, it's not going to mow as much. Nutrition. Do you fertilize? This is where you can put in the numbers on the package. You know. 10, 10, 10. That's an all around fertilizer. You can put in the numbers here, 10, 10, 10, and then you can confirm it. So once again, that's going to make your grass grow more. Landroid knows that. And then it's going to set the schedule accordingly. The multi-zone. I have a video that I did previously how to set up multi-zone. So I'm not going to go over it on this video. And then auto schedule. If you activate the auto schedule and you find it's not mowing enough or your grass is getting too long, you can just hit the plus and it'll increase the bars down there and it'll mow more or mow longer. If it's mowing too much, you can just hit the minus and it'll go down. All right, the automatic the auto schedule. If you want non-work time, let's say Sundays are your day to go sunbathe in the yard or play with the kids. You can set it up. So I don't want it to mow from nine to 10 or 9.30, whatever, nine to 10. You confirm and now that's there. If you want to repeat every day, you can. If not, you basically just confirm. And then you can go in there and you can set up, you know, every day that you don't want it to mow. And then down at the bottom to save the hedgehogs, the reason that is here is because over in Europe, Hedgehogs are nocturnal and a lot of hedgehogs are getting killed at night by the Landroid because a lot of people run their Landroids at night. So if you have it turned on, your Landroid will not run at night. I keep mine on because I've had a possum in my yard. I have baby rabbits in my yard. So I would hate for my Landroid to kill one of those animals. And then rain delay. You can have your Landroid mow while it's raining. So you can just turn it on, mow when raining. All right. Or as soon as the sensor senses water, it usually comes home. If you want to wait for your lawn to dry out a little bit, you can set the delay right here. You can go anywhere from no minutes, 30 minutes, all the way up to, you know, 23 hours and 30 minutes or somewhere in between. I usually keep mine about three hours. And that way, once it rains, once water touches the Landroid sensors, it comes home, it waits for the three hours. Hopefully the rain's done. And then I'll go back out and finish mowing if it's on a schedule. And then any changes you have, you just hit save, takes you back to home. And now activity log. 
This right here is where you're going to show when it starts to mow. It's going to show when there's errors, if it's been lifted, if it's left the boundary, stuff like that. That's where you find it on this activity log tab. Statistics. This shows how often you use your Android, basically. What are your Android's statistics? How far is it, has it mowed? How long has it been working? Once you change your blades, hit the reset button so it starts over. I forgot to do it last summer, so that's why I have a lot of uh, hours on them. And then your charges. How many times has it been charged? You get a new battery, you can reset that so that you know how fresh your battery is. And then uh, firmware update. So I have mine to allow auto updates. It's connected to a wireless network. So basically when Landroid pushes out an update, my Landroid automatically downloads it and installs it without me even knowing it. Settings. So that's my name, Landroid Rover. My location's Rayford. That's important because... Uh, once again, the automatic schedule uses the Landroid, um, uses the Wi-Fi network to figure out the weather, to figure out how much it needs to mow or not. If you get a string of days where it rains a lot, then it's going to mow more to try to catch up. And then enable notifications. This is where I'll get alerts on my phone uh, saying, you know, um, mower lifted, mower left the boundary, right? So you can you can set it up for notices, but I just keep it at warnings. So that way I know, you know, when it gets stuck, when it's been lifted, if it left the, if the perimeter wire, stuff like that. So I know there's an error. So if I get a notification, I know it mowed without any issues for that day. The device info. This just talks about what setting it is, what your model, you know, your serial number, all that good stuff. Account, that's your email address, that's your name. And then support goes over the frequently asked questions, um, setup installation, stuff like that. And that's it. That's all there really is to the app. It's kind of quick, down and dirty, but hopefully you got some good information out of that.